Hi, this is Brian Kuzmar from Commercial Rare Coins in sunny Lauderdale-by-the-Sea, Florida. Just a little quick uh, tutorial for you here. I think many of you have heard of the uh, x-ray machines that most precious metals and coin dealers, some precious metals and coin dealers shop have, or shops have. Um, they're quite expensive machineries, uh, pieces of machine. Um, for example, this uh, little handheld device that almost looks like a gun, but that's on a stand, uh, these can run $17,000 to $20,000 per unit. Um, it's an expensive investment for a lot of places, but if you're doing enough precious metals, uh, it's worth doing. Um, and in, what this machine basically does, it's often mistaken for an x-ray machine. It is not an x-ray machine. It does not x-ray and tell you what's in the center of the item, which most of us uh, think of as an x-ray machine. We think that you're looking at a picture of the inside of an item. This does not do that in any way, shape, or form. And in fact, I don't even, it's not really called an x-ray machine, it's called an XRF machine, which if I'm correct, right, Adrian, that's x-ray fluorescence uh, is what the XRF stands for. Uh, don't ask me about the science. Uh, you can look it up yourself online, Google it, XRF. Uh, you'll find out more than you need to know probably. So anyways, this only detects the surface. What it does is it reads the surface of the item within maybe 10 microns of whatever you put on it. So, if I put a gold coin on it, for example, this gold uh, 999 maple leaf, over that little window right there, there's a little tube device that does shoot an x-ray type uh, ray at the surface of this coin, and it bounces back and is detected in there. And I guess what it does, it, it detects what elements, or obviously what it does do is it detects the elements, not inside the item, but on the surface within 10 microns. There's a periodic table of elements right there that we use and uh, again I probably shouldn't be moving around but just to kind of show you what we're what we're going to be looking for on our screen is all these different elements. I'm going to put this back over here. I'm going to close the lid on this and uh, uh, we're going to shoot this. Again this is x-ray so this is a heavy steel lid and it's going to uh, uh, just keep keep things safe. And I don't think it punts a lot of uh, uh, x-ray or uh, uh, rays but we're going to close this up right now. I'm going to pull the trigger right here. And you'll see that it's acquiring. What we should come up with is 24 karat gold, as it says right at the very top there. And you'll see little trace elements that it may be picking up. And there, not enough there. You'll see. AU is gold, and these are showing up as 24 karat gold. These machines can have a 1% variance. So, so with this 1% margin, as you can tell right here, you'll see that this 24 karat maple leaf comes up at 99.79%, when it really is 99.9%. Uh, but again, the margin of error can be up to 1% on some of these machines. Um, you know, I guess considering the brand and how old it is and maybe some other factors. Uh, I'm going to put a piece of jewelry in this uh, uh, thing right here, and we're going to pull that gold point out and stick in a little piece of 14 karat because you're going to get to see uh, all the different metals that are in a piece of jewelry like that, for example, which is 14 karat. I'm going to uh, hit the trigger up here, and as you can tell, it's acquiring the information, and the elements should come up in that. Now, I should know all these elements by heart, but I don't. And as you can tell, we've got 14 karat here, uh, which I expected to see. But again, remember, this machine only suits 10, uh, up to 10 microns into the surface, which is very, very little. It's like a hair, a hair's width or maybe less or more, I'm not quite sure, uh, but not very much into the surface. So it doesn't tell me what's inside the item. Uh, but what we're reading on the surface of this chain is, uh, 14.2 karat. It's showing up as 58.95. Plum would be uh, uh, 50, uh, uh, 585. Uh, so that's coming up correct. You get copper right there, CU. Um, so 31% of that uh, chain is uh, showing up copper on the surface. Uh, a little bit of zinc, a little bit of silver, a little bit of nickel, a little of CD. Uh, actually, none at all. That's just uh, some minor uh, uh, variances. Uh, that are showing up is uh, not enough to make a difference, as you can see. Um, so again, we're just shooting the surface of this. I'm going to take how I just told you that uh, uh, these will not read inside of an item. I'm going to take a silver item here, which is silver plated. 
Again, it's a heavy silver plate, um, English made in their stuff. And this should, if I'm correct, read as silver, even though it is not. We're gonna hit the trigger. Now, if you were to assume that this x-ray was reading inside of this, inside the metal here, not just the surface, you would assume that this is silver. And it, again, it's not. It's showing up as 95.6% silver, even though this is plate and has copper on the inside of it. It's just a, a probably 15, 20 microns worth of silver in there, and the, this XRF device can't read past that. Again, it's only reading the surface, as I've said a couple times. Uh, but if, if you were to assume that uh, it's silver, you'd, you'd make a big mistake because this is a silver-plated item. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how, how do we tell what's inside the metal? How do I tell what's inside this gold coin? I mean, if it's gold-plated, how can I tell if it's not loaded with copper? Well, this is not the machine you use, even though a lot of people mistakenly assume that we do. The machine you use is going to be a, a specific gravity testing machine, which we have to the right of this machine. This is uh, just an old tried and true method of uh, determining uh, uh, the mass of an item and uh, what it equates to. And uh, this machine right here that you're looking at is a scale. We fill it up with water up to here. We put the item in, we weigh it before we put it in the water and we weigh it after. And again, a lot of you will remember this from basic science and uh, you know, when you're in high school or maybe college. Uh, again, this is a specific gravity and this machine will tell us what is on the inside of there. Uh, I'll leave that to another day because that's a whole uh, uh, lengthy process as well. Uh, but we'll show you this another day. Hope that explains what an XRF really it is. It's really not an x-ray per se, it just reads the surface. And uh, if you got any questions or stuff that you need tested, uh, feel free to call us or come by. Um, this is Brian from Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in Lauderdale by the Sea. Thanks for joining me and uh, look forward to uh, showing you what a specific gravity machine does next time. Have a great day.